a business building warrior. It's Jim. I've got a guest today, which means we turned on the video cameras. If you want to go watch this on YouTube, there'll be a link in the show notes. Silentgym.com is the only link you'll ever need as a fan and follower of this show. Today's guest is a coaching student of ours. He's going through the Proven Amazon course. And as you've heard on dozens of other success stories on this episode recently, on this podcast, I should say, recently, he's going through the replens model of the Proven Amazon course. Now, this guy started out in the Philippines, which if you don't know your geography all that well, it's a pretty poor country, especially relative to most of the westernized nations where this podcast is popular. Popular. So he moved to the US when he was about 19 years old, he shares with us today, and struggled, frustrated, working four jobs, trying to save up enough money to buy items on the dollar menu, he shares with us today, which is just incredible. It's so motivating to see where he came from and where he is now. He bought a couple of courses. You're going to hear this theme a lot on this show. He went to YouTube and bought a couple of expensive courses, not ours, that turned out to be dead ends, no support, strategies didn't work. He just lost a bunch of money and learned a very hard lesson. Then he found this podcast. He found our community. He bought the Proven Amazon course, which costs just a few dollars. And he started studying the replens model. And it worked. And now he's got a coach and his business is ramping up. He's hitting five figures regularly now. He's only five months into his journey, less than five months as we record this episode. And he's hitting $25,000 months in sales at great healthy margins. It's an incredible story. He has his eyes on having $100,000 months next year. And he's on a trajectory to do just that with the models we teach. You're going to love hanging out with this guy. I can't wait to introduce you to him. He introduced you to a, a guy who uh, really had a hard start. I would guess that he probably has more disadvantages than most listeners to this show have or have had in their past, simply because of where he was born and the circumstances he was born into, but he's made something beautiful of it. So I'm going to get Mr. Ed Fernandez on the line right now, and I think you're going to be very inspired. So Ed, welcome to the show. Good to have you here, man. Hey, it's, it's an honor, man. It's an honor to be here. It's, uh, it's one of my goal to be, in, to be in your podcast. I mean, I've seen a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of, of the episode, pretty much everything, actually, since wow. I started. Yeah, since I started when, when did you uh, start watching you. watching the, uh, or listening to the podcast? Well, I came across your podcast maybe, maybe three years ago. But um, when I saw it, you know, I wasn't really... I didn't really got into it, but then after three years, I came across to it again, and and I said, you know what? Let me give it a try and listen to to this guy, and and then I listened, and since since that first podcast I listened to, that's it. I'm hooked. I could I couldn't stop. I just keep waiting and waiting, just keep you know, keep listening every day. That's great, man. Well, yeah. maybe I should make you president of the show fan club, man. I don't have a job yet. So it sounds like you're really enjoying it. That's great. And as you know, it's not my story that makes it great. It's people like you and telling your story that makes this show so great. So I want to get into that. That's what I'm looking forward to. I want to, I want to meet who is Ed. Talk oh. us through your story, man. Okay. Well, yeah, Ed, um, Ed Fernandez. I'm, I'm originally from the Philippines. I grew up in the Philippines. Came to uh, United States back in um, 2003. So I used to live in Indiana and, and then moved to New York with my mom. And yeah, since then, since then I've been in New York. And oh, you at, uh, Indiana is my home state, as, as uh, probably you knew, but I don't know if yeah. listeners knew. Where were you in, uh, in the... I, I was actually at uh, uh, Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not a big Fort Wayne fan. It's not a bad yeah. city, but Indianapolis is... Definitely is better, but <laughs> <laughs> my sister I've lived been my, there many times. That's great. Yeah. So yeah. So now I live in New York. Um, I'm married with uh, two kids, and yeah, that's awesome, man. So you you found our community, or you found this podcast about three years ago. You'd already been in the U.S. for quite a while at that point. I'm curious though, I don't hear many stories of people going from the Philippines to the US. I know a handful, but what what brought you here? And I know there's a thousand stories you could tell, but what's the difference? 
because I know a lot of, and I'll set it up this way too. I know, I know a lot of the people in our community have relationships with beautiful Filipinos who live in the Philippines still, where yes. it's a very different economic situation than here in the States. And we've built great relationships and friendships as they've helped us build our business and that sort of thing. So you know, talk me through, where do you want to go with that whole line of thinking? Well, actually my mom, my, um, when, when growing up, my mom, my mom was used to live in the, in, in the United States. So I was, I was two years old, at, I believe, when she left. So growing up, really, we, I haven't really seen my mom. I never really know her because she was here before, before I even you know, can, can remember anything. And when I turned 19, 18, 17, 18, that's when we got we got in contact with each other and 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 they took and she uh she actually she took us into, into the United States so she was the one that that got us here so since then you know that that's when that's when I actually first time I've seen my mom when 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 we flew into the United States wow. to see her yeah that's incredible so, you with a sibling it sounds like yes one of my siblings came with me and and I had another one that that was left behind but then. A year after, then she came along. So, wow, yeah, that's a whole story. That's a book, probably a movie. <laughs> it's it's a lot. Something. Yes. Wow. Well, God bless you guys. You're all together though now. So, what yeah, an incredible story background. I, as tempting as it is for me to dive into that for half an hour, <laughs> it's a business podcast. I got to stay disciplined here. Yes, um, man, that's just beautiful though. I love that. So, you moved to the states. And that's been how long ago? You said twenty, uh, eighteen years. Eighteen years. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, were you? Uh, most people in the Philippines speak great English. Was that a learning curve for you coming to the states, or were you already pretty much up to speed? Oh no, I couldn't. I wasn't really talking when when I got here. <laughs> I was very shy. I can. I can. I mean, I could probably you know, speak a little, but, but not, not converse to anybody. So I was, it was a learning curve for me. You know, when I went to school here for a little bit, that's when I kind of, I kind of got used to it and, and learned the, the language. Well, your English is phenomenal now. Oh, appreciate thank you. That. Appreciate how hard that is to, to learn. I mean, most Americans, we, we, if we do have a second, second or third language, we're not all that good at it. <laughs> so you sound great, try, man. I'm trying. It's a lot yeah. of hard work that goes into that. So, all right, let's keep your story going, though. Uh, you know, let's let's maybe move into what you were doing before e-commerce and, and and what led you into looking into e-commerce and selling online. Yeah, well, I'm still working full time. Uh, I work as a, a nuclear pharmacy technician. So I work I work at midnight from 12, 12, uh, 12 at night to ten a.m. And so I have I, I pretty much have all the time to to listen to podcasts to you know uh, listen to books and everything. So you know fast forward I was I was I'm gonna tell you a story how how I really got into it because at one time at one time that that. Having three jobs, four jobs, you know, I thought it was it was nice and and all, but I'm always I'm always like in a struggle uh, mode. I don't understand how you know I work hard. I know I work hard. You know, I learn fast. I I, I do everything that I can, but it's just it's always it's always like a struggle for me. Like I never I never I just never never thought that that um, you know. I, I just don't understand how how is it me working four jobs and I'm still I'm always getting short and all of that. So you know, I my 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 thinking was different. It's still back, you know, the Philippines that uh, you have to do that. That's 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 how it is. You know, you can't really do anything unless you finish a degree or something. So so I kind of like accept that that okay. So I, I guess this is me. This is this is how it is. Even though I mean, they say a land of opportunity, a United States. So I thought, oh, okay, this is you know, it's probably just this is how the way it is. You know, I just have to work and work and work. But then one time, I went to a funny story. Uh, I'll, I'll get to it, but you know, the, to the Amazon thing, uh, quick. But um, I was going to 
to go get a, a lunch after work that I was going to go to Wendy's actually. And I ordered, uh, I was going to order a, a dollar menu item. And for some reason I looked at my bank. If I spend that dollar, it's going to be short. <laughs> so I'm going to be short for, for the whole month. If I, if I'm, if I'm going to take that dollar out. So I was like, this is not the life in the United, in the uh, United States. I don't think this is how it is. So I was just like, I couldn't accept that, that, that this is going to be me for the rest of my life, that it's going to be like this. So that's when I went to the church. I went straight to the church after that incident. I prayed, prayed, and I cried in, in the church. I was crying inside the church. And, and this, for some reason, there's this guy behind me just stopped my back. And, and he said, yeah, everything is going to be okay. Mm. So I looked up. I'm like, oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, thank you. But then, and then, then he said, well, uh, you know, every, we're, we're all going to miss him. Then he, he told me that we're all going to miss him. I didn't know there was something happening in the church. I think it was like a funeral mass or something, but I was crying. And, he and when he thought you were there for the funeral. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He thought I was there for a funeral. So he said, everything's going to be okay. But that got stuck in my mind that everything is going to be okay. But then he said, you yeah, know, we're all going to miss him. So after that, after that day, I said, you know, I gotta, I gotta do something. So I keep, now I keep searching online, searching online, how to make money, how to do, you know, side hustle, this and that. And YouTube, I always type. And of course you, you have to know that when you type, when you type something on YouTube, how to make money on, on Amazon, it will it's straight, it will take you straight to, um, to a private labeling, uh, Thing. So I bought a course. I did the course. I finished the course. But then at the end of it, I had a lot of questions about the course. I contacted them. I called them, Facebooked them, messaged them. But no, I didn't get any answer. Nothing. I just got stuck. So I was like, oh, my God, I think it's just nothing, nothing here for me. So one, one night I was just at work. You know, let me just listen and listen and listen. And that's when, that's when the second time I came across uh, the, the gym cock room. And I said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to have to try everything. If, if everything is a scam, I got, I got, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit one that, that they say is a scam. That's going to work for me. So then I got you. So I got the code, the, the pack course. I started it and started it. And, and I was like, ah, that's it. I think this is it. I think this is my, this is my, my, my journey right here. It's going to start from here. So that's, that's how I got started from, to do e-commerce. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> I, two questions pop into my head. Uh, first, when you said, we're all going to miss him and you were at the altar and the guy came up to him, behind, you know, maybe he was saying goodbye to the old Eduardo, to the old Ed. Like we're gonna miss that guy. He's gone now. <laughs> a new oh my god! Up from that altar, right? <laughs> that just gave me a goosebump. I mean, that's what popped in my head. I don't know. So the new Eduardo was born that day, right? So yes. Uh, and, and the other thing is, did you get your money back from that rip-off private label course? No, no. <laughs> just, I mean, because I'm thinking no. a guy who can who is struggling to afford a dollar item menu at a fast food restaurant. I mean. I'm guessing you spent thousands, man. You saved up. That was quite a hit. Yes. And you just kind of cruise through that part of the story. But I'm thinking you've got something inside of you that very few people do that you can take that level of a hit and realize it probably took you at least a few months because those courses, they just pack them full of sending you down the wrong road for an extended period of time. That had to be so frustrating, man, just to oh. spend that much money on what basically turned out to be a dead end as it does for so many. Now it works for some people, but maybe folks who've listened to this podcast or heard me say, you got about a 5% chance. If you're new to selling online and new to e-commerce, new to Amazon, and you buy one of these multi thousand dollar private label courses, there's about a 5% chance you're going to be able to do something with it, which isn't good. Uh, but you continued anyway, and you didn't even go back and get your refund, man. How... How deep did you have to dig? Well, past that. Yeah, after that, after that, I said, you know what, you know, I gotta. There's gotta be something out there that that's real. And I, I actually bought another 
but it wasn't it wasn't for Amazon thing. It was something um, for marketing and all that, like social media marketing. I tried that again. And again, it's another one that I asked. I finally got into a person that's that that I asked the second course that I got that, you know, how how do I start with this with this course that I got? Because it's it's all over Every, when you open the thing. The course itself, there's so much going on. And I'm like, you know, how do how do I start? And then they just said, well, just pick anything you want to start. To. I'm like, I don't know this. <laughs> so I start again after after maybe three months, four months. Nothing I couldn't get to. I couldn't get hold of, of, of anybody. And I said, that's like that's it. That's another scam for me. So I kind of stopped for a little while. Did and you get a refund on that one? Not not that one oh, too. You- no. Man, you got to ask for refunds if someone's not taking care of you. Just going yeah. forward, man. Maybe credit card companies are in your corner on that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I hate that that was your early experience, but yeah, man, out of that brutal beating that you took, and I, I mean, I as every bit as painful as if you'd been beaten up by a mugger, man. I mean, that's just painful stuff to go through. You keep standing up, brushing yourself off, and moving forward. I mean, like. <laughs> You're already hero status in my mind. I don't even know where we're going with this story. You're still tr- you're still trying to build something after Thank those you. first two experiences. That's all. Yeah, I just I just I couldn't I couldn't stop. I mean, I'm, I mean, I said after that day from the church, I said this. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change everything. You know, I gotta try. I gotta try and try and try. And you know, I found I found my my job. Actually, after that, I found another job. This is what I'm in now. And, you know, I've been in this job for 11 years. So when I found this, I guess that's, that, that's another help for me that, because I, I didn't have to work four jobs just to, just to survive. For some reason, when I left that, that church, I quit those four, I'm not quit, not quit the four jobs at the same time, but I lose two and then I lose one, got laid off the one. And then I found just one. And for some reason, for just one job, that's when I kind of like, you know, I was able to save. I got, you know, I was able to just to have a little extra money for me. So, mm. and then that's why I started, okay, let's, let's use this, that maybe this is my, 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 you know, God just showing me that, you know, you don't really do all, you don't have to do all of that. But then now that you have this, then use this wisely. So then I started saving and then, yeah, that, that's it. I started buying courses and, 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 trying to, to, you know, to get up. Man, that's great. And yeah. congratulations on your persistence. That level of persistence is rare, unfortunately. But it, as I'm fond of saying at this point, often when I've kind of identified these character traits in someone, Ed, like if you were a stock, I'd buy it. Do you know what I mean by that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, your future looks bright from my perspective. I'd invest in you. Like you, oh. you've got what it takes to build something. I don't even know what the next part of your story is, but just from what I've heard so far, you've had every excuse to call yourself a victim and decide I'm just going to quit, find the best job I can at the best hourly pay I can because everything online is a scam. I don't, I can't build a business. I don't have what it takes apparently, and just quit. And no one would have held it against you, but you didn't do that. No. You've nope. proceeded forward in spite of the disadvantages and, and failures. So awesome work, man. Thank you. Yeah. I, I just, I just couldn't see myself, you know, just doing that, you know, for the rest of my life. So, and I keep telling my wife, you know, I gotta, I'm going to find something out there that that's gonna, it's going to bring us to another level. So when I found this, when I found the replan, I listened to replan. I was like, oh my goodness. Replan strategy it is. I think this is it. So I started doing replans and man, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a very simple strategy. You know, I, I, it took me maybe a month though to, to finish the, the, just the replan uh, course itself. But then after that, I told my wife that I'm ready again for this to do this. I think this is it. You know, everybody's, it, it, it's not, it's, this is not no Lamborghini, no jets in the, uh, on the background, you know, with this, this is all regular people like me, you know, people that didn't graduate uh, colleges, you know, did not even, no, no degrees needed. So that's what I told her. So, you know, I think, I think I found my lane 
So then I started it and we have, we have some, some savings that I said, I told her, you know, we, we're going to do this. You know what we can do? We're going to have to go get a coach, a coach, you know, just to speed up the, the process or, or just to, to have somebody behind you when you needed something, you know, cause I always felt like after I bought all of those courses, you know, after that, I'm just like left alone. Nobody's, nobody's answering. No. So I'm like, you know what? Not, not this time, you know, <laughs> I'm going to get a coach. I'm going to get a coach myself. And he's going to be there when I ask the question, and, you know, he's going to be here if, if I have him, if I'm having a, a problem, which, which that's, that's how they work. They're very helpful. And the community itself, I couldn't, oh my goodness, the, the, the community should, should be paid for the, the the Facebook group is is amazing. Anything you can type there, any any problems you have, you type it in there. Forget about it. The next day, the next hour, <laughs> you're like a <laughs> hundred answers, a hundred uh, solving answers that, that you could you could take. So just, I'm, I'm very grateful. Wow, this is uh, this is our marketing material right here. I mean, th- we don't pay for <laughs> marketing. We just create success stories that turn on the recording of the camera and great guys like you tell your story and there you go. We share it with the world. So, you know, you're inspiring more people than you realize right now out of some bad decisions and into some a great community with great opportunities. And uh, so... It, it, you just don't understand the power, the impact of the story you're telling so far. You're encouraging a lot of people, smoothing the path out for them. So well done, man. I, I'm loving yeah. your story so far. This is phenomenal. Thank you. Hey, Business Building Warrior. Sorry for the quick interruption. Just wanted to make sure and remind you about our tremendous sponsor, Payoneer.com. If you need funding, up to $750,000, flexible repayment terms, no credit check, they love Amazon and Walmart sellers. They want to help you grow. Payoneer.com slash funding for 10% off the fees. Be sure to tell them we sent you. All right, let's get back to the show. You just don't understand the power, the impact of the story you're telling so far. You're encouraging a lot of people, smoothing the path out for them. So well done, man. I, I'm loving yeah. your story so far. This is phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, it's just... It's uh, once we started this, so I started doing the replants and, you know, went to the store. I got my, well, my first, my first product, actually, I'm going to get into the replants. So my first product was, I, uh, the, the, I found it in my, in one of my drawers, uh, somewhere, some, some drawers in the house that I said, oh yeah, they said that you could just, you know, list anything that you find, you know, and then we try it. So I found this. I don't know, I think it was a gloves or something. So I list it and then I send it one item. My first package, my first package was one item and I sent it to FBA and I was, I was so happy. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then the second, the third day that, that gloves sold. I'm like, what? <laughs> that didn't just happen. <laughs> we have, you know, I have, and then I'm like, oh my goodness, this is real money coming. So I started. I told my wife, this is it, you know, it's working. Look, look at this first sale we have. So happy, I was like, I was so happy having this first sale and and started going to the store, starting, started, you know, doing the the using Keepa and 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 just the 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 Amazon seller app. It's just kept looking and looking and looking, you know, until until now, now I have about about 200 plus uh, uh products. So Asins. That's phenomenal. Wow. And how long have you been doing this? When did, when did you get the proven Amazon course? I got the proven Amazon course back in uh, July. I think it was July. So, so this, just, this, just this, this year. This year. Yes. Wow. So you're not even, you're not even five months in. No. Yeah. So five, six months in. That's it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're doing phenomenal. Well, I, I, your story who was it that sent you our way to do an episode? Was it your coach? Was it who's your coach? Uh, Abe. Abe, Abe McMahon. Yeah, that's what yes. it was, right? Yes. Abe yes. So you gotta you gotta get this guy. And I'm starting yes. to see why he said that because yeah. your story is just so compelling, man. It's Thank it's you. emotional for me. Uh, 
it encourages and inspires me to a degree you have no idea, let alone the people who are going to listen to this. Um, and I just love your resilience. You're up to 200 products already in just a few months. Yes. All right, keep talking us through it, man. What have you learned? Teach us some things. Well, you know, going through... Go, I, I love RA, by the way. I only, I only do retail. I, I've tried the, o, the online arbitrage OA, but uh, I'm, still, I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, I, they said it's easy, but it's, it's different when I'm in the store. I could just get lost in, in one aisle and, and be there for hours. And I just fill up, you know, two, two cards, three cards sometimes and just come out of there with three full of, you know, products. And every day I go after work, after I work, I go to, I go to the gym for an hour. Then after that, I go to the store every day, every day I hit maybe five, six store, four different Walmarts, you know, shop rides. I don't know if you have shop rides by you, but I've shop right. We don't have yes. them here in Indiana. But I know. So, so I go, I go through this, you know, I, at least four to five hours, I just go all the way all over the, 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 the county. Just look for, just for, look for replants, replant products. And, and now, actually now I couldn't even, I couldn't even keep up because they said, uh, when I asked Abe, um, to, to, I, when I asked him, I said, I asked, you know, how do I, how do I, um, prepare myself for this Q4 day call? Do I have to do anything special? Do, you, do I have to, you know, what do I have to do? And all he told me was, well, you know what? You don't have to do anything. Just whatever you have right now, just try to sell it. And then maybe, maybe you double whatever, you, you know, you, your inventory. So I guess, okay, that's, you know, I don't have to look for special toys or this and that. So I'm like, okay. So I just did what, what he told me and I just doubled my, my inventory. I looked look for uh, uh just uh you know what whatever the grocery pro uh products and and now i just i couldn't even keep up with my inventory i'm always like out of stock i send in i send in a a, a batch this week next week will be out next week will be out so almost every day i'm just trying to keep up with my inventory and i i, I still do everything myself you know we we pack my my wife and and my mother-in-law my sister's help but I still do the shopping, the 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 keeper uh, uh, product oh, looking, and the the packing. The, I send it to UPS. I bring it there. So I still do all of that. And yeah, but I, now uh, back in July, I think by the, by the end of August, actually the end of August, we hit we hit our first ten thousand dollars in sale. And I'm so happy. I'm like, oh my goodness. My wife, I was telling my wife, I'm going to quit my job. This is it. I'm going to quit my job next year. And she said, no, don't get too, you know, turned up right now, you know. But then the next month, it became 20000 I'm like, oh, this is serious money. I'm like, why is this happening? I'm like, I thought it wasn't, it wasn't going to go like that. I, my, my goal was just to hit a $10,000 sales by the end of the year. I said, I'll be happy. And then we'll next year, we'll maybe double it up, maybe 20, wow. 30,000. We're six months ahead of schedule almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three months in, I hit my, my 20, 20K. Uh, That's amazing. Sales. And now I'm at 25. Yeah. So that's great. And like you yeah. said, you just, hey, as we're recording this, we're in November of 2021. You started in July. Yes. So people could do the math. Like you ramped up. You're working hard and you're working. Was it a 10 hour shift you said earlier? It's a, well, I work for 12 to 10. Yes. Yeah. And you're Told building me. this income with the help of, you know, some family helping you prep and pack it, but you're doing all the shipping. You're going out to stores. You're using the replant strategy. What's your margins on these $20,000 months you're having? What's the... After, after everything, every expense from, from the bags, everything, I'm at, I'm at uh, 30, 35, maybe. 3,500 or so. Th yeah, 35%, yeah, thir actually, 35%. 35%. Margin. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So, so about, you're putting about 6,000 in the bank or so, approximately? Yes. Yeah. Six, yeah. 7,000, depending on. About, yeah. Yes, about, awesome. about more. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. With your part time. Now, how many hours are you putting in on it, would you say? You said four or five hours after work. Is that five days a week? Yes, I do. 
well, actually that's four days a week because Friday we pack and then Saturday we send it in. So gotcha. about four, four hours. Just to paint a picture for everyone. But yeah. you're at that pivot point, Ed, where you could hand your shopping list to somebody else, right? Here's the stores to hit, go to these stores, pay them hourly, free up your time, start to scale, right? You've built the foundation that you need to, to double or triple without double or tripling your hours spent, right? So you, with another 20% effort, you could triple your numbers kind of where about where you're at as far as the way you spend your time building oh, yeah. instead of, you know, touching the product. Yeah. You, it's because you understand the concepts. Wow. What, what else have you learned? Teach us, teach us some of the things you've learned. Like what types of products are you buying and what mistakes have you made along the way? Well, uh, I'm, still, I'm still doing pretty much all my, my, my essence are, are groceries and, and home, home, kitchen, all of that. So, uh, well, just, just going through keep a training, you know, when you go to the store, I learned that, well, the first mistake actually that, that I, I had was I, when I bought this thing, I, well, actually it's not kind of, it's not a mistake because when, when I took it, it would, the keep out looks good. The seller app says, uh, you know, it's okay. But then when I got home for some reason, it was actually, a a brand that I, that I'm, I'm not allowed to sell in. So, but I bought, I was so confident that I've been I said, ah, you know, everything, every time I send it, you know, it would sell. When I look at the Kipa, it was good. I bought, actually, I didn't stick to my five testing, you know, it's, it's, I bought 10 of them. So when I bought 10 of them and it's a two pack, so I bought like 20 items at Walmart. And then the Amazon seller says, nope, you can't sell this. You know, <laughs> you're, you, you're, you're restricted to this. So I had to return that, you know, with 10, 20 items at Walmart. So that was the, that was the first mistake. So now, now before I even, I even take it home, I, I just want to make sure that I can really, really list it. So I don't have to go back and all, but, um, but yeah, that's just, just, just use the that's keeper. The that's it. That's the extent of the mistakes is you had to have to take a product back and get a refund. <laughs> yes. Yes. So there's no, um, there's no point in this process where you accidentally spent $3,000 that you're never going to see again. That's just not how it works. You're testing small, getting easily sold inventory. If it doesn't sell as fast as you'd like, you can drop the price and sell it for break even. Right? It's just such a low risk model. And you've been yeah. able to build that up to twenty twenty five thousand dollars $25,000. Have you done the math yet? Uh, what you hope to hit this year now that you've kind of adjusted your goals? We've got one month left. December... The first few weeks of December, which are coming out as fast, I think you'll be blown away how much money people spend on Amazon. As, as this episode comes out, it's going to be a little too late for new listeners to take advantage of that three magical weeks of December. But uh, what, what are you kind of hoping to hit for the year? Thinking, I, I, I'm I'm really thinking that I can reach a uh, a fifty fifty thousand this year. This at the end of this year, fifty so, for the year. Yes, I think you'll hit that easily. If you've already yeah. had a 10 and a couple 20s, I mean, you're already yes. almost there, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, for the full year, like ending in December, uh, I, I would think you'd be able to hit 60 or 70 if you've got the inventory for it. I, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'll be amazed. Those three weeks in December are pretty crazy uh, if, if for everything, not just toys. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Plus, I, plus I haven't been, I haven't been doing, Abe, Abe kind of told me that it, that you, you know, I, I think I'm on that point that I need to do uh, a repricing or um, what else does he say? Yeah, I think I think he said just reprice because once you do the repricing, I think your sale will, will just go up automatically. So I haven't I haven't done that. So, yeah, that's the next step for you. You're doing all your pricing manually right now, kind of keeping an eye on those 200 products and adjusting them yourself, right? Yeah, a repricer is really going to free up your time. It'll be a good investment for you. He's right. At about this stage, at the at the point where you're spending, you know, half an hour, an hour a day, that's a valuable time. Yes. Maybe even less than that. And repricing items, trying to make them keep them competitive in their categories with the other sellers. Uh, It's time for a repricer. So yeah. Well done, man. That's great. What else you want to add to your story? Uh 
No, I, actually, uh, well, the goal is is now that I wanted to do to have my own uh, like a VA assistant, a, a VA, you know, get get a VA to to do some some uh, product sourcing for me, and and now because now that I got, I'm on a, I'm on a rich father. Uh, wholesale wholesale training. Uh, oh, you're in the proven wholesale source. Yeah, proven wholesale. So I'm doing the proven wholesale course, and and I want to get I want to get really focused onto that too. So if I can get if I can get myself a, a virtual assistant, and maybe a shopper, one shopper maybe that that could do all this for me. And then focus my fo- then move you know pivot my focus to to wholesale and learn that. So I guess I guess that's that's, that's going to be my day. next step. Yeah, you'll do great with that. So you're gonna yeah. hire someone in the uh, the Philippines, I'd imagine. Yes, yes. Actually, I'm looking. I'm looking at to just to train one of my families in there, just to help them out. You know, so if I can train them, do keep up for me, and and you know, like product sourcing. So that'd be great. That's fantastic. Yeah, just give them access to the proven Amazon course. Have them go yeah. through those modules. Ask you if they have questions, and send them some pictures of local store shelves. Yeah, it's not a complicated process. Yeah, we do. We do perform that. I'm not suggesting you do this, Ed, but for those who don't want to go through that process, maybe of finding a good candidate, someone they can trust, et cetera, and training them, we offer that service. ProvenReplansVA.com, I think, is the website. I'll stick it in the show notes. Okay. It sounds like you've got plenty of connections in the Philippines. You're going to be able to find a family member or someone, like you said. Yes. Just share a, one tip I'll give you is um, instead of trying to send them pictures of store shelves put it in a shared Google drive because then you get the full resolution. Oh, and they okay. can see the full resolution of the picture you took instead of trying to like email it to them. It might get distorted, you know, trying to send it through Facebook messenger, for example, it's going to be a grainy image and you won't be able to see the price of the barcodes or whatever. Uh, yeah. Just stick it in a shared Google drive folder. Uh, so yeah. okay. well, very cool. This you, you've definitely got a bright future future ahead of you. Where, where do you hope to go? Like what's your, What's your goals for next year? Have you thought about that much yet? Uh, well, hopefully I quit my job. <laughs> hopefully I leave my job. But goal is to really, you know, get this big as uh, as what I hear. You know, people get to a hundred thousand sales, or, or you know, and then start wholesaling and start doing uh, the PP PP uh, the proven product partnering. There you go. Because I you have, I have other people get on Amazon, yes, right? I have something in mind that that you know. I know I now that I'm going through just shopping all over the, the 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 stores, and I see I see this local store, this small pop and you know uh, mom and pop uh, store that I think I can help them you know put their products on Amazon. So like what you said, you know the just just by listening to the podcast you have no idea how, how much knowledge you could get. And, and when I talk to people, I feel, I, I felt like, ah, oh, I've been doing this for years, but no, oops. <laughs> you know, sometimes yeah, I just, <laughs> I have to like put a break on myself. I'm like, no, you've been only, you've only been doing this for three months. So you, you know, slow down, you know, don't, don't talk, keep talking like that, you know, but, but I, every, every people I, I see every people that ask me, what is that? Why do you have so much stuff in your, in your car? What do you do? You know, I just, yeah, just, you know, this is Amazon. And then I just keep giving, you go to this uh, podcast and then try to try to get this course, you know, every day, every day. I just, that's all I give up. Wow. This, the podcast, the, 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 the Facebook group and all of that. So, well, we are, yeah. we are honored that we've earned that kind of trust from you, my friend. I appreciate oh. it very much. And that is our best marketing is like I said, create success stories and then hold up a microphone and let them tell their story. That's our marketing <laughs> campaign right there. Uh, so we appreciate that very much that you're spreading the word. Yeah. Yeah. But what else did you have? Do you have anything else on your list that you were hoping to share with the listeners today? Unfortunately, a previous commitment I have is going to force this one to end sooner than I want it to. Oh, because I am loving your story, my friend. But <laughs> what else is on your list? I don't want to cut you off. No, that's it. Actually, that's it. Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, it's it's a beautiful story. And I appreciate you. you being a part of our community, sharing your story. And the thing I'm taking away from this is probably slightly different than what some of the listeners might be taking away. I think a lot of people are going to think to themselves, man, this sounds legitimate. 
Ed knows what he's talking about. He built something cool. Maybe I can do it too. What I'm taking away personally is I'm just motivated by your level of commitment. I mean, you, I know enough about the Philippines to know that that's not an easy place to start compared to the U S you know, you spent the first 20 years of your life in a pretty rough place and you came here and kind of got beat up and here you are with a $20,000 a month business <laughs> aiming for a six figure a month business reasonably within expe- expectation of within a year or so you're there, if not sooner, building a team, hiring people, providing meaningful work to family and friends. That is an inspirational journey, man. That's better than any movie I've watched lately. Hey, thank tell you, you that. So um, I'm moved. I'm honored, man, to know you, to, to be inspired by you. Uh, it, because at the moment, here's, here's something for you, Ed, and for the listeners too. I've always told myself, when we stop creating su- success stories like this, we're done. If I can't create stories like this, like yours, I'm done. Well, of what use are we? How can we claim to be teaching people how to launch businesses if we're not actually getting stories like yours, Ed, popping up constantly, steadily out of our efforts? But here you are, man. Proof once again that the team we've built around here is is doing their thing. And Abe is just an incredible coach. Yes. And as you know, just a heart of gold, a strong strong man of character and faith uh, who will speak boldly into your life. And so, yeah, you've got to... I'm just our coaching team. I'm humbled to be a part of it. These just such incredible people. So I'll stick a link to our coaching program in the notes today too for people who want to take a look into that. But well, it's been great hanging out with you, buddy. Yeah, me too. It's been great. It's been an honor to be here. Oh, I love it. Time well spent. Well, I'll spend a couple minutes here talking to the to the audience then and, and we'll uh, we'll sign off on this episode. But if you enjoy episodes like this, if you're watching us on YouTube today, I don't remind people very often, but most of our episodes aren't on YouTube. So if you go to silentgym.com, you can hear all the episodes you've been missing because a lot of them we don't turn on the camera out of either request or convenience or for whatever reason. So there's a lot of episodes there too with great stories like Ed's that we've heard today. If you want to be inspired even more than that, how about you jump into our live happening right now Facebook group with we just passed 67,000 people in our Facebook group, which is incredible. Ed's in there. He's one of the great folks that hangs out in there, answers questions, asks questions. We're doing life together, doing business together. Every little stumbling block or speed bump that you run into, there's going to be solutions. Like Ed said earlier, there's a lot of good, really smart people, way smarter than me, and they're hanging out every day answering questions. So take advantage of that. It's completely free. If you're selling online, specifically selling on Amazon, that's the place to be. So I think those are all the announcements I'm going to have time to hit today as we wrap this one up. God bless all the business building warriors. It's been great hanging out with you. Ed, thanks for being our guest today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless everyone else for listening today. We'll have another great episode for you again real soon. Hey, before I go, one last reminder, Payoneer.com, a tremendous sponsor of this show. You can get 10% off your first fees by going to Payoneer.com slash funding. Tell them you came from our program. They're going to take good care of you. Up to $750,000 for Amazon and Walmart sellers. Hey, if you're needing some funding with some good flexible payback terms with no credit check, you're going to love these guys. Go check them out.